Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, let me just find the video real quick. Um, yeah, there we go. Easy enough. So, um, I'm just gonna put that one down. Um, so tonight we are gonna be making a mixed media page. Yay! Um, on this page, uh, I got a few suggestions from the Tropical Ambience Practice Zoom. Mini, oh hello, Jacqueline. Long time no see. Hello, Sandra. Um. Actually, it was Jacqueline who suggested the pop-up. We're going to go with that one just because uh, the suggestion of using the different inks um, that was made by another lady in the Zoom. We have done that, I think, about a month ago, and I try not to repeat myself too often. Um, we we'll, might retouch on that again next week. Um, but, yeah, tonight we're going to do, like, a pop-out type thing. Um, it's probably going to be a relatively quick class just because we're going to move at a little bit of a pace but we'll see how we go right let's get started um for the pop-up i do have uh oh hello pam thank you easy enough um hello dad and tash yeah so let's um get started so for this i've got a range of paper i did grab from shrink film but i feel like that's a technique that we need to do as a bit more of a like bigger project than me just making mini embellishments as we go along oh hello marie oh no thomas sick no thank you oh yeah we're all pretty good mom's getting better again oh hello chloe hello sandy hello Di. So let's get started. So I've got some yellow tissue paper, doily, some vellum, and some scrapbooking paper. So I've got a few. I like this. So I know it's odd for me to say that I like a piece of green paper, but I do. I do, I do, I do. No, I'm not afraid to admit it. And my scissors are missing. Hey, Mom. Can I have my scissors off the coffee table? Oh, dear Lord Jesus. Right in front of me. In front of me, five metres in front of the home. They were near the power board. No, mm. not yet. No, we'll live without them. Maybe. You want some Timmy scissors? No. No. If I use mum's Timmy scissors, I'm in trouble. Oh no, found them! No, I'm doing stuff. Sorry. Yes, it is good news. Um, yeah, so Dad and I are going to take teams and scrubbing because Dad's got to duck out quickly for a sec. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So... To make our holy magoli page, um, not holy, I mean our pop out. Just trying to think for a quick second. Yes, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to get a piece of shipboard. Um, Chloe G says usually get borrowed when they vanish. Yeah, usually. Um, not in this case, I'll just put them under something. It's like usual. Okay, so here we go. So, so I'm just gonna put this down here, and I'm gonna. Use my scissors to cut that bit. And then to cut again. Oh, my internet just crashed. 
Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're not with the scrub for a few seconds. I'm sure we will live. Back. Oh, okay. Cool. And we got that one there. So we're just coming in and we're cutting a few holes in. So. Yeah, that's correct, right? And then what we want to do is we're going to come in, just rip this one to be about the same thickness as our bits here. Yep, we'll make. I want the right showing this time. And I'm not too fussed on whether or not the barcode shows. So had to be under that one. Over that one. And I'm just doing this because with a pop-out, um, they do tend to get a little bit more strain on them, especially when you open and close your art journal a lot. Um, mine end up on display in the shop. So they do get a little bit manhandled sometimes by kids that come in, and they do go to craft shows, which means they are on display a fair bit. So by doing this weaving technique with our pop-out, it just kind of is it that extra firmness it will we'll use some glue to like stick it in there as well but that's how it works oh hello debbie or oh, pam said hello to you know yeah, are you gonna say hello back yes. um mary said and then so we kind of want this then to be a bit of a constantina effect or you know pleats in a uniform skirt so we're just gonna come in And get that. I need one more, I reckon. Yep, there we go. So it's yep, there we go, and then. You might have to plan out some time to maybe driving. Oh, yes, we will. Noah's got his driver's license now, so we're going to have to plan out the time. So we'll put up a community notice and saying don't be on the roads at this time and hour because Noah James Redshaw is going to be flying. Right, so we're just going to come in and I'm going to cut the strips of this piece of paper. Um... Basically, with the mechanics of a pop-up, just got to make sure that you give yourself some leave room. And you understand that it might take a few goes to get it right. I tend to avoid pop-ups at all costs. Just because I've had some bad experiences. So that one there. Uh, that one out. And come this one out. And I am being a little bit like grungy with it and not being exact with the cutting on the lines. Oh, hello, Mary. Right, so now that we've got this one here. So, just want to make sure we give ourselves enough room.
Jacqueline given Jacqueline G says, Whoa, watch out, Queen London Cracknot. I was so excited when I get my license and that was decades ago. I'm sure it wasn't that long ago. I may have cut you. <laughs> no, um yeah, he's his first way is to getting independence because driving is realistically like one of the big independent steps that you take as a teenager. I remember when I got my license, all of a sudden I just suddenly became Noah's personal taxi. Um, you are not my taxi. That's not how things. But I remember. I remember it, Naomi. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, actually with Milton, Mum had to yell indicator, I think, every day. Um, uh, with you, it was Nami. You're not in a granny's car. Okay, I was worried about hurting you guys. Um, Debbie H says, congratulations, no, well done, thank you. It, it like, I'm sure There was you... a bait on board, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure everyone you... just picks on you for that, though. Yeah, I'm sure everyone can ag agree that when you're learning to drive and you've got your younger siblings in the car, it just adds that extra pressure to make sure that you don't run into something. I don't think that was on Milton's mind. No, well, it wasn't mine. Right, so now we've got that there. I don't I think, think I've ever heard about a kid saying a longer word than indicator is their first word. Amelia was very special. Mm. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Shoot. Thank you, Di. Um, Jacqueline G said, same. I had to drive my young siblings around, but at least I had it for the car. Uh-huh. <laughs> Then you got to choose where you got to go. Exactly. Hmm. Missy, get away from there. Ah, uh, 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 just trying to think. Because I want it to kind of be like a stepping type thing so we've got like a little bit more um 3d-ness to it so we can really get that nice pop up <laughs> i was pointing i was by the time i was 13 that's so cool oh we don't have horse floats anymore um, um is this supposed to post in the live did i put it in the group chat notification i think so um, i'm gonna check okay you do that well, neither would I. Um, right, sorry, I'm trying to figure out, because I just realised my little beamy things aren't going to be able to hold up that, which is the problem. Sandra says, I was pulling horse floats by the time, um, I was pulling horse floats by the time I was 14. I know, how cool would that be to pull horse floats? I just think that'd be amazing. Right. So, one second. Here we go. Right. Because when we do a pop up, I want to make sure. It is actually gonna close. Aha, uh -huh, so that will close now. Yes, right, sorry. Because you gotta make like a triangle, so I'll show you. So you gotta make it to be. No, he has not fit Missy. Alright. I'm, I'm trying to explain a crucial part here. Can you. Thank you. I'm gonna go feed the cat. I'm just letting you know. Right. I'm losing my scrap. What a, what a, what a miracle here. Yeah. 
Alright, okay. Sorry. Right, here we go. So I folded it in half first and then I've added these triangle bits. So one is shorter, which is the one going on this side because we've got that fold bit there. And the other one is longer. So by having this fold bit lean on top of it, it's going to give us the correct anchorage we need to get... He's feeding the cat! The correct anchorage we need to hold that down or else it would pop off just because it gets a little bit more of a workout these ones and then so then we still have the bit in piece there what we might do is is we're just going to come in Cut along this beam. Just a little bit. Back. Um, Chloe G said, can be scary at times. I know sometimes those who whose cars end up rolling because something snapped between the trailer and the unit. <laughs> Lorraine C said hi. Hello Lorraine. Um, right. This made a bit more of a mess to it. I'm trying to get this stuck into wine. Come on. Do what I want. Right. This is what happens when I try giving the piece of paper extra support. Goes no thank you. Now you should be concerned when your paper starts talking to you. Look, I started answering myself the other day. I'm officially on like stage two of weepiness. Mm. Right. I think we've got this covered, right? We need to stick what we've got down so far and then come in and make sure it folds correctly and then we can go in and add the detail layers because I want to make sure this folds now correctly. So then we've got the thing. We're going to use modeling paste because gel medium ain't going to be strong enough for this bizarre. Modeling paste. Yeah, and we're going to try using full strength and not white um, because, yeah, full strength because we're going to need... Just a little bit of body today. And we're going to use a palette knife because we want it to be thick. That's another way of saying it. So, we're going to move that out of the way. To begin with, what we're going to come and do. So, oh, it's been a while since I haven't used a palette knife. We're going to come in. We're going to slide it on our tab there and stick that one down. And then what we're going to come and do is we're going to stick this down. Now we have this piece in here because, yes, it looks decorational, but it's also going to hold this down. So we're adding all this extra support in because I know that my art journal is going to go through some pieces and I don't want, like, the pop-up to snap or anything because I dislike it when I have to come back in and rework some of my pages. Which is why we're also going to be going for the grungy effect tonight. Just so then if anything doesn't line up or we get a bit of glue spill over, doesn't matter because it's grungy. Is there any tips that you would give to people when they're using a palette knife for the first time? Or alternative uses like other things that you can use instead of a palette knife? Your fingers. Or a very old uh, paintbrush. Um, could you use gloves and use your fingers? Yes, you could use gloves. That is an option. I'm just straight out using a palette knife because I want my thing to be my glue to be a bit more thicker than usual. Um, have a few goes with the palette knife. Uh, 
uh, I'm uncoordinated, so it took me about three years to work out how to actually use a pellet knife successfully. Trust me, you have more coordination than men. Most babies have more coordination than me. Right, here we go. Then you, um, well, last year's Christmas, um, we did like, we catched the ball four times in a row. I know. I really thought the apocalypse was coming the next day. <laughs> I really, truly did. Right, there we go. So now we've got that stuck down there. Uh, now, we're going to come and do, oh, sounds like that's back from his errand. Yes, miss. We're going to slide our glue in underneath that. This is why we're going to say it's going to be grungy because I'm not coordinated to do it, coordinated enough to do this without getting a spillage. And I ain't going to try at this angle. Like, if I didn't want spillage, I'd have it lifted over that way, but you guys couldn't see that then, so. And the important bit is that you get to see this gluing step, because this is the main part of the where the pop-up really comes to life, is where you glue. Oh, yeah. All the backing pieces down. Now, we're just going to lift this up and lift that up there and just a run of modeling paste down and then we're going to put a run Gonna come and stick that there. Okay, now let's just stick this down and see how we go. And then I'm going to stick this side down and I'm going to get out my other pellet knife because I just can't seem to get enough modelling paste down. Can show for fussy oh, yeah, just be careful, Bubbins. There's lots of modelling paste on that sand there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pass them to bed. Today and the other day. How about we go for them individually? <sighs> yeah, you going to talk about what this one is? That one is the stick. Mm hmm. Birdie. Oh, we in the view? I think we are. Birdie. Okay. Ooh. Are there any you really want to use, Amelia? Yeah. Really what about the giant lizard one? It's a, the giant it's a chameleon. chameleon. Oh, it's a chameleon. Ooh, and we'll just show them this one and then we'll. What's pink that? Galar. Oh, a pink galah. All right. That'll do. Let's go. Well, it's known as the city birdie because uh, I'm going to my head up. <laughs> Galar. You don't know how to spell Galar. I mean, how do you spell Galar? Starts with G. That's all the name, apparently. Yeah. I don't know what comes. I think there's. It doesn't sound like Gala. Gala. Oh, I now know. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I can remember that. Well, saying. it's like um, Budapest. Okay. We do not need to bring that up in every class. For those of you don't know, we were turning onto a street called Bow Desert. I'm sure all of them know about Bow and Desert. And there goes, oh, so, we're turning off into Budapest. It's happened more than once. Um, oh, that's okay, Pam. It's all G. Yeah, Amelia is very clever and she's very good at fussy cutting. Yes. She loves fussy cutting. I tried convincing her to do Mamas and Mines for retreat. She told me if she wasn't allowed to scrapbook them, she wasn't fussy cut on them. So, you know. No. 
And whenever we bring out a new range and we're packing the kits, she'll see the fussy cut packs and she'll like just go up to mum and be like, mum. Although she got some very good news from her eye appointment. So the eye surgery that she had earlier this year worked. So um, we got her a few sheets of fussy cutting to celebrate. And once she cuts them out, she's going to make some pages this weekend using the tropical ambience with her own kit. Oh. And then, yeah, offer a bribe. <sighs> like, I should not have to bribe my younger sister to do something for me. She should just do it. <laughs> I think, actually, the fussy cutting probably helped her with her eye That's development for yeah. surgery. I don't know, but, yeah, so she, her eye surgery went all good, had res good results afterwards, which means that she's in the clear. Yay! When do you think we're going to buy our fussy cutting scissors? Um... That was going to be my Christmas gift to her. I don't know why I just told you that, because now you're going to take that idea. No, I won't. Really? Milson took the earring idea. I thought you guys shared that one, or did he just tag who do you, along? Who do you think came up with the idea? You did, but then he would have paid, like, 25%. Oh, I got 10% mark there, but yeah. Didn't he also get a piercing too? Yep, I paid for that piercing. That was his birthday present. Um, Jacqueline G said, this is looking interesting, then, John. Yes. So this is a pop-up with backing to it. So then it, like, with stabilizers. So then it can go through all the wars and wears and tears and maybe even through... Crocodiling? Sure. Yeah, we can go crocodiling if you want. Because... Well, in art, we have to stick paper into our books. And once you've done like 30 sheets, like 30 pages of sticking down paper yep. and your info, book. your book starts to look like a little crocodile. No, I was doing art in senior and he has just learnt the main concept of doing art in senior is having lots of pages of research because that is what art teachers love. But it's what most students dislike yeah. about the subject. And we usually do it the day before. Yeah, right. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll see. My foldy bit might not fold correctly. Come on. Fold it. Mm -hmm. Right. I've got a plan because this isn't folding down correctly now. This is why we only stick this bit on. What we're going to come and do is, is we're going to put a bit of gesso on. And we're going to put the gesso on because it isn't What's as like instant, just normal gesso, because it isn't as instant as the modelling paste, which means it won't stick immediately, but we'll be able to see where the white glob goes. So then we know where to stick it when we lift it back up. It's like a finding tool. Navigation, I don't know. Um, Losing metaphors and similes, yeah. Right. I lost me at similes. Okay, well, there you go. Right, so we're going to fold it over and just sit it nice and flat. And then come back, lift, and that's where it needs to stick. It's been the art on the weekend. Oh, thank you. Dr. Um, Shen. Diane G says hello. Oh, hello, Diane G. Right, we're making a pop up this week. Is it streaming on YouTube? Yes, it is streaming on YouTube. So if your Facebook doesn't work, um, you can head over to YouTube. I didn't think my Facebook was going to work tonight because when I tried logging in the first time, it's just like, you cannot log in. Your browser has been timed out. And I was like, oh, I'm sure I logged out of it. But I don't know. Technology. Yeah. Good old-fashioned technology. Turn it off, come back in. Well, if the internet doesn't work, it's just telling you that you need a coffee, cookie, or chocolate break, or all three. Or a nap. Or a nap. Or a painting break, you know. Either one. Oh, Manna's discovered airplane mode. 
Oh, dear. And um, during, like, the weeks when it was, like, you know, the Stead did an exam week for music. She chucked the phone into airplane mode? When she was going to sleep, she'd put on airplane mode because she was sick and tired of just hearing at night. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, Nana hasn't discovered how to put a phone on vibrate yet, but she's discovered how to use airplane mode. Well, if she discovers how to put on silent, we'll never be able to find her. Oh. I don't want that from Nana. Because I don't want to have to go to her house and her tell me that it's super clean, but she's lost a phone. Like, I think that would be hilarious. That's just me. Right. Here we go. Well, yeah, we are the people in our family that loses the phone. So now that we have got our said pop-up yeah, we're going to now decorate our pop-up slash incorporate it because we've got, I'll show you, it has the 3D look to it, Ta -da! so it's very detailed and I kind of want it to be, you know, like a mountain, how things drip down from it. So I want it to be kind of like that, which means that I've got some of my yellow. Um, Diane B says, I never knew this was even a thing. Hard sandable gesso. Is that the link that you sent them? I thought you said regular, or oh, just want texture. No, just Montmartre gesso. That's hard oh, sandable gesso. That's it's for like... the first thing that comes up. Oh, sorry, Diane. Uh, sorry, everyone. Um, So hard sandable gesso is i think i needed in my life it actually is it's a, it's absolute time saver um it's more opaque i don't use it in classes just because it's super thick and it takes a very long time to dry but if you're like priming a surface like um timber or watercolor paper or um denim or oh, what's another one burlap um, hessian one when you're doing clothes because some people yes. do like dresses and yeah things. fabric so you paint that down wait for it to dry you come back you sand it so you stand you so say you can sand off like the thickness of the layer but the material is still primed which means that you can go in there and do all your usual acrylic and watercolor techniques that wouldn't work on that surface normally so if you use that on denim and then sand it you will still be able to paint all your techniques but have the denim texture. We should have done that when I was having when I had my denim. Aunt Journal, hey. Yeah. I used to not look forward to the weeks that I was paying on denim. I'm gonna tell you right now, that Aunt Journal was pain. And maybe I missed the main technique of that whole entire Aunt Journal. Oh gee, we're gonna have to find maybe, a piece of scrap. Because you got a couple of denim clothes that are looking a bit main. So maybe Hey, don't you dare mention that to mum. She'll rip my jeans. Well, on purpose. When she does rip them, she use them in art piece and show them how it works. Um, Diane B, still may need by your... Need it by your explanation. Oh, it is... Saves me so much time, honestly. Um, still can't believe that I used... Didn't use it. Oh, my gosh. Looks like I am going to be doing some painting on some denim. Might do, like, a little short mini video to show with you guys on it. We could do a full class on it. I mean, you can use some fabric. We've got tons of fabric and hair. I, I'm in the middle of a pop up. Right? Chucking denim into this now as well. I was going to do shrink film as well tonight, and I was like, mm, too many techniques in one video. We will be covering shrink film in the next couple of weeks and um, painting on down. Because, well, painting on surfaces that aren't supposed to be painted on. Uh, what did you use as an alternative to the tissue paper you use? Like if they don't have it. Oh, okay, yeah. You know that tissue paper that all your orders come in? Yeah. yeah. It it's like free it. collage paper. Remember a lady going, what am I supposed to use this for? It's free collage. Take it or leave it. Plus, most of them, don't some of them have glitter on them? Yes, yeah, some of them have glitter on them. Uh, in the retreats, we have different colours per retreat. Mm, so those retreat users, you could have um, multiple colours. Yeah, you got a collection, an array to choose from. Holy crew, that's a big word, mate. Um, right. 
Righty right, right, right. That actually looks really nice. The blue and the yellow just daisy vibes. Like oh, that. I know, right? I'm not paying daisies, so no. I'm kind of over pen realistic flowers. I started paying my succulent painting again. Oh, how'd that go? Three hours for one tiny segment of succulents. I'm a little bit annoyed. This is my palette for Slow paint as well. I'm not very good at painting realistic, so I will admit that like it will take me extra more time than most people. But um like it's a nice effect. This one here's been on here for about a year and a half or two years nearly. Uh, I kind of dropped it because I couldn't remember why. And then I realized that was that because this took me like five hours and then three hours. Well, it's better than that Same. piece of cardboard going to waste and you're using it in your art. Well, that was the thing. This was from the Bourbon Gary place I lived in. Uh -huh. That was second year. I don't normally talk about second year. Second year was not a good year for me. But I did enjoy the fact that I learned how to draw succulents. Because that's where I learned how to draw triangles. Triangles make up everything. <sighs> I know. Pythagoras theorem. Um, holy gee, I drew a set up for the paper which the borders are wrapped in. Fold them up and put them in with my tissue paper. Ooh. Yeah, see, you'll have a colour collection. You'll nearly have a full rainbow. So, because uh, there were a few retreats where we did like, we made the tissue paper into it but we haven't done one of those for a while now because i think the last one of those we did was the aussie grunge one and we kind of killed mum's really old heat tool um i don't know if any of you remember from the 2020 videos how she had that white heat tool that was like ancient was the best word to describe it dinosaur of its lifetime it was from a brand that doesn't exist yeah it was from a brand that didn't exist anymore so we kind of killed it during that well to be honest, it started spraying out fl flames and smelling funny. Um, <laughs> we didn't use it in the shop. We were using it at home. I just remember Noah going, ah, we hate tools on fire. And, and I'm just like, and I just walked out of the shower and I'm like, can't be. It's reliable. <laughs> he's like, it smells funny too. And I'm like, oh, we better turn it off if it smells. Um, <laughs> All I remember is, is we were really scared because we would place them down on the ground, but then we'd have to bring the cats in. Yeah. So we'd so. have to move them all to one room and make sure Missy didn't get stuck in that room. Yeah, because uh, Mum and Dad were away for a week somewhere. Can't remember where. And um, it was our job to make sure that we had enough tissue paper to wrap all the orders, well, to wrap all the um, Aussie grunge retreats. And that all the colour cuts had been cut. Um, let's just say that, yeah. Yes, I remember your mom's here. Yeah. yeah, so that is actually how the story is. Um, that's actually how it happened. We did tell mum that her heat till just died all of a sudden. It wasn't really all of a sudden. It had been heating, like drying things for a uh, constant what would you say, like three hours now that we had been doing it, it for? been around two days because we were doing that in the shop, remember, but we only had to make like ten more at home. Yeah, so, and we had taken the heat tool in at the shop because one of the heat tools had already started going on its last legs and we didn't want to have a heat tool set on fire on us. And then, yeah, so. Hence why, A, Mum doesn't want us around her heat tools anymore. Well, I don't think Dad's happy at you from the glass bowl. Okay, yes, there was an incident this week. My uncoordinated self dropped my father's favourite cooking bowl, which is glass. You'll be happy to know, though, that it did not go without a fight. It has cut me pretty deep on my foot. <laughs> that glass bowl was the equivalent of a child. <sighs> yep, he loved it, but it's okay. We'll buy him a new one. And now I know what I'm getting in for Christmas. We'll buy him too. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to buy him a backup one. <laughs> Oh, and another cup that has, like, you know, uh, father saying on it. You know how you can get those cups that just have real good, like, uh, well, sayings? That's... Well, we have we bought Dad one last Christmas. Milton and I buy him one, like, every year. 
Um, and the last one that we bought him for last Christmas was uh, World's Best uh, Farter. No, I mean Father, um, which is, it's absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful cup. Um, we could try making cups for the grandparents again, but we would have to cook only like one in the oven. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so yes. So now we're just coming and sticking this down with the tissue paper like usual. I am being a bit careful, so I am putting down that layer of glue first and then sticking it on top and making sure that the glue, there's no air bubbles before coming over it. If you have air bubbles underneath your tissue paper, be aware that it will most likely rip on you, um, which is not fun. So you want to come out and just like really make sure there's no air bubbles by um, just like slipping, like sliding it with your uh, power knife or finger if you've got one that's clean and yeah oh, hello Cheryl so we're just coming in with that one and then Christmas is a long way off, and I like how you keep asking me what we're getting our relatives for Christmas. Now, I, I've i planned out what I'm getting the old one. Oh, what? Yes. What did the teacher say about your tile, your landscape? Oh, she liked it. Oh. She did? What did she do? Did plus like it? <laughs> she hasn't marked it yet. It takes a while to mark it. Because you've got to go through the whole book. Did you drop off a box of rice of chocolates and say, do you miss you looking good today? You forgot that technique. No, I'm not Milton. I don't. You think Milton obviously took that much time in it? Oh my god. Milton lacks. You may lack empathy, maybe, but Milton lacks kindness. Oh, I'm glad that I only lack the ability to notice people's feelings. Oh, that's okay, Cheryl. Um. So far what we've done is we've made a pop-up and we've done some collage around. I'm really liking the yellow. I, I want to keep it kind of like this blocky type thing. So I'm just going to come in. This is probably going to be a real simple page. Just this class was basically just to show you that, yes, you can make a pop-up in your art journals. Um, I don't do them very often, like I said, because my art journals get passed around a lot. And when your books get a bit more mileage on them. Um, things can get a bit more of like a wear and tear, I guess. Or after like the 500th time we've opened up the art journal. Exactly. So that's why, and with art journals, obviously all all of them are going to get a bit of wear and tear, which is why they all have like stronger stitching to them and they also have glue. And when you have the binders, like the holes are more supported and you've got like industrial graded binding on it and all the rest of it. So that's why with the pop-up, what we've done is, is we've got this weave bit here, which gives it that extra support within the page. So it's not just on top, it's within it. And then once we paint the other side next week, what will happen is it'll be even more supported and it won't move. But like, yes, it'll move because it's a pop-up, but it won't be like a... Move um, the placement of the painting. Yeah, and fall off and all the rest of it although that there's not really sticking so i'm gonna have to i might come in and stitch that you put a peg on it? but yeah we could put a peg on it or staple it do you want to get a peg no we'll be fine this is pegs right there oh we'll be all good pegs big thick hey, for we've got more pegs than we do for the washing the whole bus the whole they're for bows. You're not taking my bow pegs. That's the whole yeah, and I bought all those pegs. You're not touching them. Yeah. <laughs> That's my collection of pegs. After the chickens, you stomp on pegs. No, I don't want to hear it. You are not stealing my pegs. Pegs are an expensive buy. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 I'm nope. surprised Missy hasn't knocked that container over and played with them. Missy understands our relationship. She does not come near me, and I do not go near her. Sad thing about Missy is 
is I don't shut my door fully, so then I get a bit of sunlight in. But Missy just knocks her head into my door. Yeah, and goes ramming into his room at night. See, I leave my door shut. Um, and I do not open it until I leave that in the morning. Like, the cats do not come into my room. Which is amazing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and I think do some rectangles because a lot of our stuff is in rectangles. So just to match it, you know. And I have chosen another green because my mum did point out that I do a lot of pink. So I'm trying to avoid pink tonight. Doing. I mean, you have used grain a few times, but it's probably not your most used colour. No, that would be yellow, pink, and either orange or teal. Probably orange. I stopped using teal for a while because I ran out of teal. Orange is, I don't know many people that use a lot of orange. I find orange easier to use than red. We don't use red. I don't own red paint. Red, okay, red can be nice when used with complementary colours like black. And no. But when red itself is mixed with a colour that it doesn't mix with, it just overtakes. I don't paint with red. The day I paint with red, send me to a loopy house. Send me to a loopy. Right, here we go. So, put that one there, and I think we need a few more over here. And maybe... Up by Marlene, um, watercolors work? Yes, so I'm just using my Mott Mart ones, because I don't really want my watercolor to overtake what I've done with the tissue paper and with my um, gnome alone papers uh, whereas with my up by Marlene fluoro watercolors they might overtake it just a little bit and like try and draw away so maybe if you have up by done. Marlene like fluoro ones you just dip them in the water for a bit longer yeah so have a bit more water in your paintbrush and a bit more liquidy and saying that we might use the blue in a second just as like a drip Type thing. I just want to get a few more of these on here, and I might want to do another color. So, but do those with. Um, Lorraine said, "I'm trying to pay attention, but I'm fussy cutting and not watching the subtitles. Looks good." Oh, thanks, Lorraine. That's okay. Um, yeah, there's lots of fussy cutting for the retreat. Fussy cutting is like a good exercise to do because it's good for your hands. Well, would you like to help? We still have about three sheets left to do, Mum and I. I'm fine. I'm left-handed. My cutting skills aren't great. Oh, but any help would be appreciated, Mum. I think Amelia is a better cutter than me, but you know. One and all, and as they say. Did you not learn anything from Barbie and the Three Musketeers? I learned a lot from that movie. I am just, I don't like the new Barbie movie. I watched it in my own time. <laughs> I've converted Noah. Yeah, the new Barbie movie's not that great. Yeah. I I like the new but I like the new mermaid one they released before it. It was nice. This one I was like, oh It's like the second mirror party's on. When have you had time to watch the second Mariposa? We don't exactly own that one, so you would have had to phone a friend as well. Where was this? Uh, um, a sleepover. One of our friends um, has a Stan account, and Stan has Barbie movies, so binge Barbie movies. Influencing him. I feel really uh, great that I've educated my younger brother. Princess Charm School was the climax. And everything after it kind of hasn't been as good. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really proud right now. Mammy, I've known this stuff. It's like how Frozen 2. I'm, I'm like overjoyed. Yes, yeah, so very much happy colours tonight. And they match tropical ambience a little bit. Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, we're trying to avoid pink tonight. 
Not good choice. Well, kind of bad choice. Mammoths. I think mammoths is a lot of tea. We could pull that on her, but you know, you can do <sighs> She's that. the boss. You can do that. What's your paycheck mizzle from zero to zero? Ooh, yeah. Actually, you got a negative after to repay him. <laughs> so now I comment taxes. <laughs> Every time he took back. <laughs> that would go for you too. Hey, you gotta remember, I'm not getting paid. Zero percent of zero was. Uh, Ten percent of zero was still zero. See that one? Mm -hmm. Right, so we're just coming in and I'm doing some dry brushing with this blue here. Just to get a bit more of that grunge looking. So we can go, yes, it was supposed to be like that. And I would the one of my best. Book they read you, like, that you read in grade four. And it's like that girl who went to Australia and she was a convict. Oh, way overboard. No. Girl Underground? No, it's like one of those, like, and it's got a horse on it. Oh, dude, I haven't been in grade four for ages. You gotta remember, I've got six years on top of you. That's true. Well, considering when Neely's in grade four, I'll be graduated and will be. How many years have we got until you graduate? Uh, let's see. So you'll be like 23? Or 24, depends. Yeah, 24 I'll be. Right, there we go. So now that we've got that there, we're going to come and do with our fluoros is that we're just going to come in and do like some dripping out from our pop-up and then I think we might be done. That abandoned me. Yeah, you got sucked into this, didn't you? You were only supposed to be doing it until he came back and <laughs> in a shower. <laughs> yes, he's having a shower before you. No, I've already had a shower. You already had a shower? I beat him to that rose. You beat him to that rose? Okay. Right, so we're just gonna leave our art jump up. We want the watercolor to kind of come out of our pop up and through these bits here. So, we have a very wet paintbrush and um, blue from here. Oh, it's the same blue. Hmm. That ain't gonna work. We're gonna use a green then. Can't have the same blue. Because we just need uh, another tone of paint. Because we've got currently two tones of paint on here. Which is great. But um, it just looks a little bit uneven right now. So. Just need that second turn of paint. I mean, third turn.
just adding some doodling and I'm then going to come in with some of my white gesso. Just because I think it would look really nice if we had some. of our drips coming down. And then maybe just to give us some break within the color. We do have a lot of colour around here. Like always, but you know. Just a fair amount. And then I might come in just a little bit of my finger and Diane D says, beautiful, Mandy. Oh, thank you. Alright, so I am just going to lift this up to show you guys what it looks like in the end. Yeah, look, that's stuck now. Woo! So, this is tonight's class, which features the pop-up. So we close it, and then we open, and look, ta-da! So that's our pop-up, which is kind of like a mountain. Um, I didn't do too much work on the pop-up just so then you guys could see that what you can do with it and um, the technique of like supporting it because that's the main thing when you do it in an art journal because a scrapbooking page you do have it, it doesn't get as like I guess manhandled as an art journal does so you've got to really think about that. Um, in comparison, uh, it's kind of like the same level as what a card gets, maybe even a little bit more, I find. Um, because cards do get a, like a final resting place. Uh, journals don't. So there is that as well. But yeah, thank you all for coming. Um, I hope you enjoyed tonight's class. I hope you explained everything. If you didn't understand something, just text me um, or message me. I, don't, I really don't know the difference. Just like type something to me. Um, anyway. But thank you all for coming. I shall see you next week on Thursday at 7pm, like always. Uh, and for all those ladies who are coming to the retreat, I shall see you guys tomorrow, more than likely, through a video or comment section or on Saturday when I'm teaching. So thank you all for coming. Have a great night and a lovely week. Bye.